Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about Swagbuck. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's a, a survey company that allows you to take surveys and make money online. Okay, so if you have heard of it, you're probably wondering, is that for real? Can you really make money? Well, yeah, you can. The problem is, for the average person, you're not going to make those thousands of dollars that you're dreaming of. So it's not a full-time job. It's something to do when you're doing nothing. So, I mean, you know, it's really great. You do want to make money. And if you're just sitting there watching TV and really not doing anything else, you know, it's a great time to make a couple bucks. Also, if you think about how much time you spend playing video games and you're not making any money, again, it's another way that you can make some extra dollars. All right. So, you know, when you go shopping and you come back and you just throw a couple pennies in your penny jar or coins, whatever coins you have, you throw them in your coin jar. Okay. Well, that's kind of like swag bucks. You make a little bit here and a little bit there. And then, you know, every once in a while, you'll come home with a roll of quarters. Well, maybe not, but let's say you come home with the rule of quarters. Right? That's kind of your jackpot, so you throw it in there. At the end of the month, if you take everything that you've earned, then it comes out to be quite a bit. Now, you don't actually get paid with money like here's a check. You get paid in the way of gift cards. So now, your gift cards can be for anywhere, or you can also get PayPal gift cards or, or Visa gift cards. So it's just like cash. It is real money. So if you're interested, you can check it out. I'll put the link below. I'll also put my promo code so you can click on that if you would like to. Now, here's the thing. I am a beginner. So all the information I'm giving you today is really from a beginner's perspective. I thought I could wait till I become more experienced, but I kind of want to capture those feelings that I'm feeling right now and kind of share the obstacles that I've run into in, um, in, in using Swagbucks. Now, again, there's other people who are probably making a lot more money. Um, I think it really kind of depends on the risk that you're willing to take, how much you're willing to put yourself out there in going for some of those extras. And I'll talk to you about that a little bit more in just a minute. All right, let's go ahead and look at Swagbucks Online. Now, again, you're not going to make... Um, enough money for this to be a full-time job, or at least the average person isn't, but it's a great way to make a couple extra bucks. So let's say we're going to go ahead and close this up as just kind of a notification. And to get started, if you look at this page, it's really overwhelming. And this is the home page, so it's really kind of busy to look at. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, and as a beginner, the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and go over here where it says earn 30 swag buck points, and that's how you get paid. And that's how you get paid. It's $1. 100 um, swag buck points equals $1. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And you can see over here, this is kind of my to-do list. As a beginner, I found that the easiest way to get started is just to go through this this daily list. Now, if you complete this whole whole list, everything on here, you can get anywhere from a dollar to two dollars, depending on um, how successful you are with the survey. If you get a hundred point survey, then that's a good start, or a two hundred point survey, that's a good start. Um, and the rest of these are just kind of like onesies, twosies, and and not really very many. Okay, so onesies is a one cent, right? <laughs> 200 would be $2. So let's say on a good day you made at least 200 um, swag points, just swag web points, just doing um, this daily daily task here, the daily list. Okay, so at the end of the month, $2 times 30, you're going to make $60. So not enough to make you rich, but again, if you just have a couple extra minutes a day, it's great for a couple extra points. So let's go ahead and look at this. The daily poll is really just um, super, super, super quick. So it's really only worth a penny, right? You just answer a quick question and you vote on it and then you get a point, right? Then I'm going to go to the next one. I'm not going to go in detail with all this, but I just want to look at it. At an in-store deal, okay? So you get a point. If you go over here, and you look at the um, the shop, you can add one of the popular items or close that up um, or one of these items down here and you can add it to your shopping list. You just click on it by adding, let me see, I will add um, the onions today. Okay, so I'm going to add the onions and it goes over here into my shopping cart. 
Now, if I can do, I get a couple points for this. If I go shopping and I buy the things that are on my list, I can get, you know, X amount of points for everything. Plus, I get points for scanning my receipt. Okay, so, but for today, for my daily goal, I'm just going to get the point for accomplishing that task. All right, then um, it shows right here I did that, so it already shows that I'm starting to meet my goal. The next one is upload a magic receipt, and that is really just scanning. It's going to take me back um, to scan one of the receipts. Uh, it's a magic receipt if I ended up buying one of these things or two or three of these things um, that I already have in my shopping cart. So it will give you those extra bonus points. I'm probably not going to do that today because I'm not going into town to go to the grocery store. I live kind of far and two cents is not, or 10 cents even is not going to be worth the drive. Deal of the day, I can click on that and I can just kind of look through here and click on something. Um, now this is under the discovery. You can find all of these um, different categories here. The answer would be the survey questions. The shop is kind of going back to those magic rece receipts, those coupons. There's also some other categories there. Shopping discounts for the home. Going into discovery and that kind of takes you into um, just some of these other things that you can look at and get points. I'm not going to get into detail right now for a beginner. Um, because it's really overwhelming. The magic receipt we kind of talked about. I'll talk about games in a little bit. The rewards is where you're going to collect all of the different rewards. And then there's more options like watching videos. Okay, so you could go through and you could click on one of these and do the task. All right, so let's go back to um, our... It was just kind of looked, all I got a point for just looking at that page. Daily watch. These are videos that you can watch. Um, so if I watch one of the videos, then it's going to go ahead and give me points for that. Okay, that's actually loading, so I'm not going to do that right now. But you can actually watch videos and get points for that. I'm not going to do that right now because it will actually start loading the um, videos. Then daily discovery. This, again, is going to take me to the same page, and it's really just if I go down to the bottom, um, I'm going to look for things that I can click on without having to buy. And like this one right here, I can earn up to 10, um, 10 swag bucks. Now you have to read carefully because this is kind of the tricky part. And I will give some of the um, some of the scamish feel to it um, is that I, if I start to click on something and I didn't read through all the way or it makes you do a survey or purchase something that you don't really want to do, you know, that's a little bit trickier. Uh, you may not get the points. If I've watched one of the videos or done one of the surveys, I might not get the points for it. Um, so that does feel a little bit weird, but you want to you want to check to see what the requirements are. So this one I can get um, two swag books by um, clicking on an article or a video and I can actually do this five times to collect the points. So I'm not going into all of this in great detail. I just want to give you kind of an overview of getting started and kind of this to-do list. That was the daily discovery. Now attempting a, a gold survey or completing a survey. So this is where you've, tr you've done a survey but you got disqualified. Now, here's the, the one that really does not feel right to me um, in some aspects because I'm going to go ahead and click on Attempt a Survey. Um, it will take me to a survey page, and I can have a list of surveys, and they can be, you know, 10 minutes for 35, 5 minutes for 25. I'm really slow at these surveys, and I, again, it might be because I'm new. I'm getting faster with you know, the beginning part that just asks my name, my, or not my name, my age, my, um, my, back, my background, my ethnicity, um, those kinds of things. Usually a lot more load here, but I've noticed um, the last couple days that there's a little bit less to choose from. But I might get some here, I think, during different types, times of the day. This is a weekend, so maybe more people are during, doing surveys. But you might get some surveys here that are up to, you know, 250 points or whatever. And you want to jump on those. Now, the scamish part that I was talking about is you can actually start going through a survey and answering the questions. 
And then you might get kicked out after, you know, five or ten minutes and say, oh, sorry, you didn't qualify for this survey. You, well, then you feel like you've really wasted your time. Or like I said, um, it says five minutes and it ends up taking me way more than five minutes. Uh, again, I feel like I've kind of been cheated for those 25 points. But if I try a survey and get kicked out, sometimes I'll still get points for it. Um, and other times, you know, it might just be it was marked as an attempted attempted a survey. If I complete the survey, um, you know, then I'll get whatever points it says I get for that. So if I go through this whole list, you know, I can get up, like I said, to um, 200 points or so, or even more if I'm having a really good day. Then there's extra ways um, to make, there's other ways to make extra money. So we'll get into that. Now over here you can see if I've reached my goal, I get some extra points for, um, for for meeting, I get some extra points for the first goal. So if I make at least 30 swag bucks, I'll get three extra swag bucks. Again, over here, if I make 101 swag bucks today, I'll get an extra three. And then down below, um, there's also extra points for, um, sorry about my cursor here, um, get some extra points for a 14 day streak, I'll get 100 extra points. So they do give you extra points for different things. So that's kind of cool. Um, the surveys, I think, are the most frustrating for me. They're not really that fun for me. Um, clicking on videos, you can go kind of over to this discovery again. After you've done all that, you can go to the discovery home, which is, looks like this page. Um, and you can do some of these different things. Now, here, I kind of stay away from this stuff up here at the top. This is um, kind of where you have to spend money to make money. So as a beginner, I'm still getting my feet, you know, getting my feet in the water by trying some of this other stuff. Um, maybe one that I would be interested in would be this HelloFresh. So I get 14 meals, um, plus I could make up to 4,000 swag bucks. Okay, 4,000 swag bucks sounds good. The free meal sounds good. But if I click on it, I see that um, I also have to uh, purchase. Okay, so clicking on it and seeing that I have to purchase at least $35. I might make $5 off of that. I don't know. I didn't look any further. I don't know if it's a subscription, if it's going to come, you know, regularly. I have to cancel it. So I'm not really worried about that extra stuff right now. Um, I just kind of go down to the lower level here and find things that I can just click on and make um, some quick swag buck points. Um, some of these things I've tried and they haven't really panned out. Again, I'm just kind of chalking that up to being uh, a new new person on the Swagbucks platform. Now, okay, so the thing that would be helpful is if there was really more ways, uh, more information on how to navigate Swagbucks as a beginner. And there's the stuff down here on the bottom, but I didn't really find it too helpful. Uh, you know, like ways to earn extra money. Maybe that's a little bit. The articles and blogs and stuff were just kind of like um, maybe the stuff I'm telling you right now, not a lot of in-depth information. So that's a little bit difficult. Now, one thing I want to go back to this, to the, um, to the uh, actual surveys, and you can see a couple, another one's loaded up here. The thing about the surveys is if you find that there is a problem, like you didn't get credit with your first survey that you did, um, you can actually send in a ticket, and that is a good thing. Um, so you can, I haven't tried that yet, but you can send in a ticket and kind of explain the problem, I guess. There's another way. I don't have any more right here, but down here, this is just like one question, and you can answer 10 questions and get two swag buck um, points down here. So that's kind of a quick way to make some points. Another thing is um, they've got, let me go back to the home. Oh, I should have clicked up here on the top. Um, let's see if that will show. Uh, another thing they've got going on is they've got this swag swago, and that's kind of a fun thing. You can kind of see different ways contest starts um, at different times, but you can kind of see all these different bingo patterns, and you can do the tasks that are on the bingo board, and if you complete it, you submit it, and you get points. Now, okay, this being my first one, um, luckily, I had two different ways 
that I had completed the bingo board. And luckily I cl clicked on the highest one before I submitted it. And so that gave me the 100 points. But don't submit until you've got all the bingo board checked off that you think you're going to be able to complete because then once you submit it, that's it, you're done. So that was a fun extra way um, to make some swag bucks. And then another way to make swag bucks is they actually have a thing called, I don't think it's showing it here, but it's called, um, let me see, maybe it's down on the bottom. I actually have the app, so I don't use this for it, but there's something called um, swag bucks live and it is a trivia I don't see it down here on the bottom um, but it is a trivia uh, a trivia game I don't see it down here but it's a trivia game and you just go in at, at five o'clock or whatever time you get a new a flash and you just play a trivia game and it's not a lot of points unless you get to the jackpot you get might get a little bit more points but it's just fun now down here you can see that there are mobile apps um, so you can do swag bucks on your phone so you know if you're somewhere waiting it's just a great way to kill some extra time there's also a swag bucks button that they talk about and that one um, you can put on your computer. I have it installed. And if I click on it and I'm going to go shopping, it will tell me some of these places that I can get some money back by, of course, spending money. I can type in here and do a search. Also, by having the swag, buck, bu swag bucks button on your computer, it will monitor your searches. So if I used the swag bucks up here and I went to search something I don't know uh, the one I got money on was the the international um, dog day uh, you know so if I typed that in um, it might come up with oh your search gave you gave you a uh, gave you some swag bucks so that's kind of cool another way and then um, there's also swag buck code alerts and that's why you definitely want to have um, an app installed so that you can get the alerts. And when you get the alerts, let me go back up here to the swag bucks. Um, I can go over here to the swag bucks code. I would click on the link and it would tell me which code to enter. And then I would come over here and then I would enter the swag bucks code and redeem it. And that gives me a couple extra points. And then the last way would be um, to go ahead and get friends and family to sign up for swag bucks using your referral code. So that again is another way to make some money. Okay, so there's one other thing I want to show you for making money. I said I was going to come back to I almost forgot. Um, it's over here in the more category. And so if you go to more, you can go to this play and it will take you um, to some of the different games. And for me, this is kind of, you know, uh, this is kind of probably going to be my money maker. Not that I'm going to get rich on it. I don't want to really buy um, points. So, so I go down to the bottom and I look for some that are free or that I can play um, on my, my phone or my iPad. Now I haven't had much luck with my iPad, but I have been able to play a couple on my phone now. And if I go back over here, so you can see, um, I've already ha I already have 25, basically $25 and I've only been doing this a week. Uh, so it's a good start. And then if I click on my activity this will tell me or this will show me um, all the different points that I've been getting for doing different things and then if I go back up here to the top I've played a couple of games and I've completed them and so now there's a seven day wait period but once those seven days are over then I'm going to collect 200 swag bucks and 600 swag bucks and then you know one that I'm working on is 1500 swag bucks so I get different swag bucks for for those games now it's not a lot of money again but if I think about um, I'm just sitting there in front of the TV not doing anything then um, you know of course playing games is probably what you're going to be doing anyways and you can make some money doing that so there's some different games to choose from all right so let's go 
to shop and then go over to the grocery coupons. This is one more thing that is really good for beginners. So we're clicking on that. And then what you're going to do is you're allowed to click up to 20, um, excuse me, up to 50 coupons per day. It's going to load up different coupons and you're going to click on them. And you want to make sure, I've already clicked on four, but you want to make sure that you click on exactly 50 coupons. And you just do that by just clicking on them, okay? And then it will move it up there to your box. And once you have 50, then you're going to go ahead and print them. Now, you just have to um, take it to the next screen, and then you can either hit cancel, you can save them, or you can go ahead and print them. That's a lot of printing when you're doing 50 coupons, so um, you might want to think about how you want to print those. But then you will actually see those in your rewards. It takes up to, I think, like 24 hours. It might even take a little bit longer, but then you'll get your credits for that in your, um, in your box. All right, so I know I didn't go in depth in a lot of those different areas. The best way to get into Swagbucks is just to go in there and start um, clicking on things and learning and really be patient. There is definitely a learning curve if you take into consideration the time that you're just getting used to it. If you take into consideration the time that you're looking up videos and seeing what you should be doing and how you're going to make that money. Um, so give yourself a little bit of time, try it out, and then see if it really works for you. It's I, like I said, it's not gonna make it's not gonna make me rich. It might make you rich, but it's not gonna make me rich. Um, but it's something to do and something to make some extra money. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you'd like, because I'm gonna be making some more videos on Swagbucks, and those will be hopefully a little bit more in detail in some of those sections as I get to know Swagbucks a little bit better. Again, this was just from a beginner's perspective, so. <laughs> I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.